I just had to. So I was wearing these nails yesterday when I filmed this video that you're watching now that I deleted. Uh, so I'm not going to put them on again, but yes. So today, tonight, I am going to show you finally some of my favorite things from the drugstore. It's your girl Renee, Seattle MUA Renee on Instagram. I'll leave a link below. So if you guys want to see what I love and personally recommend, then just keep watching. Uh, we will start with the nails that I was wearing yesterday that I'm not wearing today. And these are the ones. They have come a long, long ways with press on nails. It just, it amazes me to be honest. You guys, my nails, my real nails, they're really gross and they look dirty, but I promise you they're not. I just washed my hands. Well, I've washed my hands probably 50 times today. Uh, I am in Seattle, obviously. Seattle, MUA Renee. If you guys didn't know, now you know where I am. And we just today, May 1st, it's gonna be May. We got our stay at home order extended through the end of this month. So May 31st. We're here to go over what you can buy right now at the drugstore because that is one of the few places that is open and it's actually the only place that I go to. Um, I have a compromised immune system. So I have basically been home for all year, yeah. Mm -hmm. When I filmed it yesterday, I said that this gives you a nice olive streak-free tan. Well, now here is the update. It is a little blotchy, dried me out quite a bit. I mean, definitely gives you some color. I do appreciate the mist. I will say that uh, I have number three deep intensity and it, it does have a scent. It does transfer and it does give you color and I do like the mist. However, I can't say that it's not uh, a little bit streaky and I can't say that it's not at all orange because I'm, I'm starting to look a little bit like an Oompa Loompa, but it's okay. So yeah, I mean, you could try it. <laughs> You're welcome. But onto the things that I do love and I do use all the time, the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. CoverGirl makes this in 40 shades, 40. And so I highly appreciate that. I like the range that they have a shade for my alien green olive skin tone. So uh, I'm in the shade M80, if anybody is wondering, because it came off the bottle there, but don't mind the dirtiness. It does have a pump and it is full coverage, but I don't feel like it dries me out at all, although I do, for reference, have oily kind of combo skin. So here, let me just do a little swatch for you guys. Oh, so you can see. But I would definitely recommend this for oily skin types or if you like a lot of coverage. I love also, I don't have the bottle, but I have it in my bathroom, the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. Definitely recommend checking that one out if you have more of a, um, I'm just gonna say hydrating skin type, a, a dry skin type. Wow, get it together, Renee. I mean, just, just get your shit together. You can't. Let's move on to 
Another physician's formula thing that I love, hands down my favorite bronzer at the drugstore. And one of my favorite bronzers just all together. The Butter Bronzer. This is the original shade in bronze, I believe. It just says bronzer. But they did come out with new shades. There you go. They did come out with new shades. And an added bonus, if you sit here and you sniff it, you could maybe imagine yourself in like one of those little huts on Tahiti and just, but it smells so good, has that light coconut scent in it, but this is the shade Brazilian Glow. I do appreciate the olive tone to that. This one does have a little bit of a sheen to it. So I'm excited to try this shade out. I'll definitely let you know, probably on my Instagram, cause that's where I hang out. And I also do lots of giveaways and I've been doing this little series where I have little giveaways and I want to do what I can at this point in time. I recommend just the OG L'Oreal Revitalift Moisturizer. I don't believe this has sunscreen in it, no. But it has this light perfumey scent. It has one of the stoppers in there, but it just, it, it's, the scent isn't overpowering and I feel like it could go with just about any skin type. Just, it soaks in right away. I feel like a lot of the lower end moisturizers tend to be a bit greasy. And this one just is my go-to for when, you know, I don't have the money. And if you need brushes, definitely, definitely get real techniques. They are hands down, in my opinion, the best drugstore brush, br br brush brand, brush brand. Say that five times fast. There's a little thing for you to do at home in quarantine, but uh, this is actually a blush brush apparently, but I use it as a powder brush. Don't mind how dirty it is. I know I look like a dirty birdie, but I'm not, I promise. Well, I am a little. And they have sets, so you can get kind of like a face set or an eye set. I've lost my mind and Highly, highly recommend these. I've had some of mine for a really long time. They've really held up too. So definitely recommend those. And even the Wet n Wild brushes, they don't have numbers on them. Uh, they are sold either individually. I know my local Rite Aid has these. And like this one, I would use for eyeshadow. And then I would use this one for concealer. So these are like between a dollar to five dollars individually and you really just can't go wrong there at all and another favorite and you will see milani i know this is not luminoso i feel like that is the one that everyone goes to and i'm the one over here like well what about number two rose de oro hopefully i'm saying that right as you can see mine is loved very well loved. I just feel like this is a little bit darker. I love the sheen that it has to it and I feel like it would be great on a full range of skin tones varying from light to medium and deep. You could even use it as a blush topper but it's right there. It just has like a really nice sheen to it and this baked Blush formula from Milani is just absolutely amazing. Love it. Another favorite from Milani. This is the shade Matte Beauty. It kind of reminds me of MAC Velvet Teddy. And I should have tried to locate Velvet Teddy. But Teddy is missing in the building. And uh, I need to put out an SOS. 
So here is Matte Beauty. These just are so creamy and long wearing and matte and comfortable. They're not at all drying. So I really love this formula. It's shade number 69, if anybody wanted to know. So that is Matte Beauty. And then for liner, definitely the NYX, and this is in the shade Nude Beige. I feel like this is just a really great universal nude to where it's not too warm and it's not too brown. Although for me, it is a little bit on the more brown side of things. I'll swatch it next to the Milani lipstick there. So it does have a little bit more of a cooler tone to it, but still I feel like it would it can go with pinks or peachy nudes or anything like that. And these liners are hands down just one of my favorites from the drugstore. NYX also makes a retractable one that is even creamier than the pencil version but this is nude beige, if I didn't say that already. SPL 857, in case anybody wants to get really technical. But just a really, really great lip liner all around. And for concealer, if any of you guys can remember, I used to use this, well, I still use this. The Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, absolute holy grail, favorite concealer at the drugstore, hands down, no questions. I love everything about it. It goes on really nicely. It has the sponge tip applicator. You just click it up. This is in the shade neutralizer. So they have a light, medium, dark, and then they have a, a few correcting ones. So this is the neutralizer one, and it is right there. That's very white compared to my Oompa Loompa, but just love the creaminess. It goes on so nicely. It blends out so nicely, and if as long as you set it, which I set every concealer, but it doesn't seem to settle into my fine lines and wrinkles, and Guys, I'm in my 30s, let's be real. So I need that. I need that in a concealer. Also, thank you for making this highlighter because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like highlighters at the drugstore can be a bit challenging, to be honest. I find that usually, at least for me, I like that highlighter where you can see me from space. And these Maybelline Master Chrome this is in the shade Molten Rose Gold. They have holographic one. I know they have a white one, and that would be really pretty for fair skin tones or even for um, an inner corner highlight. I love doing white, but look at just how gorgeous that is. Let me swatch it on the other side. Go right there. Just so beautiful. And it, do, it does have sparkle in it. So if you don't like that sparkle scene from space look, definitely go light on this. We just wanted to quickly mention these NYX Butter Lipsticks. These are great. This is actually my favorite one. So I will swatch this one for you, you'll see. This is the shade Lollies. So I'm actually kind of running out of it. And it goes on really bright. In fact, I that's the swatch from yesterday. But when you put it on and blend it a little, kind of like almost turns into a tinted lip balm. These just are really moisturizing. They're not full coverage and they can I've noticed settle into your little lip lines or if you have chapped lips, but the formula is just great. It's that kind of in between where it's not really a balm and it's not really a lipstick, but it's a lipstick. Yeah. So yeah, that that's it. That is what I definitely 
just recommend that you safely go retrieve at your local drugstore. And I am going to wash this up and eat dinner. And I have another dental appointment on Monday. I'm having a few more root canals and then start the actual work. Yes, um, it is on an emergency basis and that's how I'm able to get into the dentist. So I love you guys. I hope, I hope, I hope that everyone is staying safe and healthy and you guys seriously, I know that times are really tough and, but just please do everyone a favor and stay home. And if you go out in public, please be safe because we all want to live. So I love you guys and I hope you have a good evening and I will see you in my next video. Bye.